Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a look at Staling Area. It's a game I've been playing uh, recently. Special thanks to GY Games for early access to this one. They do have a demo as well if you do want to check it out. But let's pop in a new game show. There are four different characters we can check out. Uh, we're gonna actually going to be going to the Japanese character because I am part Weeaboo, so that's okay. Uh, but first off, you can get Andrew Portugal. You're kind of starting on the all the way on the far side of the map. I haven't tried this one yet, but it should be fairly interesting. Typical guy. XP, they all have their own traits and other things as well. And then we got Abdullah Arab. I think he does do a lot of fighting. And then we got a waifu as well. With the Ming Empire. Very nice. And then I would with... Uh, Here's Ataka, which is very interesting because Japan in this kind of the era it's set in really was behind technology wise, uh, shipbuilding especially. So let's just hop into a game I've been playing for a little bit. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my impressions of Sailing Area. This is by uh, GY Games. Uh, very good stuff. I put about a dozen hours in and I have been loving it. I've only been playing uh, the Japan start as one of the characters. Each one does have its own story. But I've lovingly found you can really, really ignore the story. Uh, so if this is under $30, I would definitely give it a recommend. Uh, the combat's a little dry, I think, but it is, it's not too bad once you get it down. Uh, the only, my only major complaint is there's a circle that you can't get out of eventually when you're fighting. So, I think you maybe can flee, but I never do because I always want to stay in the fight. Uh, but yeah, you are kind of constrained in that regard during the ship battles. But it's not too bad once you get it down. There's also some land expeditions, etc. But this game, I think, is mostly about making money. You can find romance as well. Uh, it's actually going in here. Is it about... <laughs> uh, this is the first one. But luckily, they're all not having back problems like this uh, lady as well. It's Tsukurako. I do believe she's one of the uh, uh, women you might be able to, even though we're a, we're a lord of a Japanese clan, apparently we can marry an innkeeper girl. All right, let's have a drink. And don't drink too much, though, because it will be bad for you. Oh, very nice. And eventually, after every heart, you will have to go do a quest. It's basically a big, a big fetch quest. Uh... And so far in every area, we found a different... Uh, there was another girl in the uh, the Ming Empire over in China. Yeah, we can mention that. There's a place we found. Oh, it's beautiful. And the story's alright. It's nothing spectacular. There's really not too much voice acting other than greetings. Okay. Oh, we do have a level up as well because there is a leveling up system. We've got about three companions right now. So you guys could level up. And they all have a lot of different skills as well. Which you can also get books to level up these skills. And some of these books you're going to require to decode words. Which some might be in languages you guys don't speak. But it's very, it's very in-depth. Amagi, I'm going to level you up. All right. And we can treat our sailors if there's any morale. Uh, all these merchants and these guys will be the same in every area, pretty much. And they kind of give you hints about prices. And this is very much a game about making money, I think, at the end of the day. Uh, very much about making money. We could recruit more sailors if we needed to, but let's not worry about that. Also, shipyard. But there's not, like I said, in Japan, there's not a lot of tech. Uh, they... Very long time there isolation. It's one of our characters' kind of main quests is he wants to travel to Europe, learn about the European boats as well, and bring that back to Japan. Because they've fallen behind technology-wise. We can also buy some ships. I have two right now. These are very small sloops. Nah, not really worth it, I think. Imperial House. Which now we've unlocked. We actually haven't unlocked everything in the game just yet. And this is after about a dozen hours. There's still... I haven't even unlocked skills yet somehow. Which is just kind of amazing. But we can go hunt pirates. We can actually start a guild. But I didn't want to spend the money yet. 
because it costs about 50,000 then you can start investing in the town uh, making more money that way as well also we have a store item store and a commerce guild which you can take contracts but you bring stuff back to town and if you know where all this stuff is yeah, it can make quite a bit that's actually not bad I do know where some brass is and we would have to buy it, but for 10,000, that's probably not terrible. I might take that. Yes, we're gonna take that contract. And we got about 120 days to do that, and actually the brass is relatively close by. There's also a shrine you can donate money to, but I'm too cheap to get blessings. Uh, faster sailing, other things like of that nature. An item store, sometimes there are maps. And maps are actually very important. There was a map here, but it'll say, say you already used it. Because at the start of the game, you don't know where anything is. I've died about four times just exploring because I don't know where ports are. If you don't have those maps, you're not going to find anything. So you kind of got to be very careful in that regard. The game will also start you out with a ton of crew people. But one thing you got to realize, all those people eat. And a lot. So you kind of got to be careful because usually we can't survive more than a week out at sea and we're all, we're all out of food. Uh, but all right. Before we get to pier, let's talk about some of the system stuff like that. Uh, there are a big variety of quests, side quests as well. We also get clues to treasure. I already have a, a whole bunch that you can find on the map. Crack those down. Very nice. And all these characters... And they do, uh, yeah, we trade 100 industrial goods. We'll get another ability. This is our main character. Yashu Jitaka. Uh, yeah, we can also upgrade our abilities, find books, etc. And this guy we actually saved from a, uh, from pirates in a fight. But we found him. He does speak Chinese. He learns another uh, quest. He can learn another ability. Very nice. Also, a survey we pick up during the story quest. And each... Uh, main quest of the, the different uh, people you can choose have different characters as well and you actually start off with a uh, uh, magi you start out with him at the start i still have unlocked skills this for long though which is kind of interesting this is all the kind of the equipment we have found and this just shows us another clue and then the fleet and we'll actually go look on the yeah, other ships, you can appoint a captain, and they'll take it over. But on your main flagship, where your main character is, you can have assigned them to different rooms, which will give bonuses, etc. So that is very nice. This just shows how much goods you have. And this just kind of gives you... Oh, nice. Oh, we can actually get... I did explore everything in East Asia. Finally, yes. Okay. So can I use that or no we can use that at the shipyard. Let's go to the shipyard actually. I've been wanting to get this actually. Because you just do new things, get achievements, you can get a... Oh, is that it? Okay, let's look around. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. Well, let's head up. But this is a very much making money game, I feel. The combat is kind of secondary. I mean, you can really do the combat, but it's not much as fun as I feel as making money. So what can we... I have a bunch of stuff at the warehouse, but it's not worth money right now? Yeah, this is the percentage of how much the good is worth. Normally, it's worth a bit more. So at 81%, we'd be selling that probably for a loss this section, some stuff I found. So it'd still be a profit, but... You know, so I'm just holding this stuff because... Of every once in a while, uh, there'll be festivals in towns. And when there's a festival in town, everything sells for a fortune. You can't really buy anything from that town because the goods are so expensive. But if you bring anything you bring there, it's going to sell for a premium. Not bad. Right now, this town is in a depression. So I can take advantage of that. I don't feel good about it, but I will. Right now, I can only take seven goods. The katanas, which we did need a license to get, because this is one of their speciality goals, uh, goods. Let's grab four of those. And the sake is very cheap. 
right now. It's ridiculously cheap. We can carry stuff. We're gonna fill our warehouse full of stuff too, and then maybe when it gets more expensive, sell it back. One way to make money. Well, we spent about eight thousand. All right, and a lot of these towns are all the same. There's some towns where we can do land expeditions as well. We're gonna need a license for some of those. All right, so let's head out. Sailing preparation. Supplies are very important, and also we'll go to the sailors because you want to have the minimum as you see in these ships, but the maximum, I really wouldn't recommend it unless you really know where you're going, because the goods, uh, your your supplies go through so fast, especially when you're doing a if you go somewhere and you land and do an expedition, you'll have to take supplies with you. When you get back to the boat, you won't have any supplies by then, so it can turn very bad. It does have a handy dandy auto save though. Anytime you leave port, it auto saves. So if you screw up, you'll, you won't lose much progress, which is very nice. And once you get somebody that has cartography and you put them in the map room, you can actually get some uh, routes so you can auto sail in these places. But for today, right now, we're going to just uh, traditionally sail. And the auto sail is way faster, by the way. It is, they kind of speed time up. But all right, we're gonna go full sail, and we're gonna head over here. I have unlocked all of Southeast Asia. We're getting a little bit more into the other part of Asia here, but I have unlocked all of Southeast Asia. I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm not entirely sure, because I would die if I get to like here. I can't find anything. So I don't know if there's anything over there, maybe not. So we do actually have two handy dandy ports. For a while, I just ran uh, goods back and forth uh, from Busan uh, to Nagasaki. Right now, this place has a depression, though. So, uh, not going to be great. I sold my goods. No, I would get far less. Okay. Let's get out of here, then. We really should have looked. Let's see, we can, we can see what's going on in the ports. Depression. Oh, that's actually not terrible because nothing bad is happening. There are no festivals going on though, which is the big main money maker. We don't want depression though. Okay, so we'll head over to Han Tao. Apologies if I'm butchering any names in the making of this video as well. Yeah, let's get out of here. Got 100% of the goods. And you will come across pirate fleets, I've noticed. But majority of them just leave you alone. And I say, don't get murdered. I've lost a couple boats. And on our top left, you will see the durability. And you'll see that gray bar. The gray bar is ships age over time. So their hit points will start to decrease. There's actually... Let's show off some of the ship combat. Uh, wait. I'm trying to get to him. Get to him. Yes. Oh, you're actually... You look like you were one ship, but I don't think we want to get murdered. But you're not... No, no, no. You're not the pirate, though. You say you're... Nah, I think you're confused, because... No, oh, he's gone now. He must have gotten into port. Ah, oh, all right. Do I have enough supplies to make it over there? I think I will. I think I will have enough to make it. Well, barely just, because the supplies go down quite a bit. And your morale is that heart plus sign right there. And then on the sailor on the top right there, yeah, it shows everything you need. All right, so we made it okay. If run out of supplies, people start dying. And then, yeah, it's game over. You start back at your port where you left off. Okay, so can I... Hopefully make some money here. 90%. Sadly, that's not going to be the profit I want. And we need to come back here for the brass, but I need to make some money off this. Uh, I could bank this stuff for later, but no, let's not. I could have hit that. Uh... 
Why don't we auto sail a little bit? Yeah, let's auto sail a little bit. And time will speed up. You can't cancel out of it if you run across something cool. What I found later on into the game, it's just a lot easier to just set that up. Because it's somehow more efficient as well. If you're not a fan of visual novel stuff, I don't think you're going to enjoy it as much. Okay, June brings the rainy season. Oh, so they're making porcelain. Ooh. So this could be a high sought after commodity, probably in other lands. So the price is at a good time to get it. Okay, so price is lowered. Oh, very nice. But will you buy my stuff for me, though? It's still at 106, though. That's 106%. Uh, I mean... Saki is still not as good. Um, let's stop in the restaurant. I love that I can trade 130 guys to a drink and it only cost me 100. Very good. Like I said, here's a land expedition. But you need to head into the local government office. You need a permit. Permit is based through contribution to the port. Um, that's like trading goods. Uh, stuff like that. Right now we only have 62 or like going to the a guild and doing contracts. That's the easiest way to get it. I'm still looking to offload these goods. We've got a quest uh, somewhere down south, but I don't know where, and it's a little dangerous for me to go running around willy-nilly. Little supplies. I think I'm just going to auto-sail a little bit. Or just sail. Uh, the music I found is very nice. Very chill. Reminds me a lot of uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. The, the classic Pirates game. But anime. Uh, and, and I love it. It is quite nice. Another pirate. Can I? No. Let's see. You say you're armed, so uh, I'm not entirely sure. We gotta turn the sucker around, though. Whoopsie. Oh, because I think we probably tracked them as well. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Nope. We do get random encounters, but not a lot. Oh, there's also a black market in this town as well. We get some slightly shady goods. Now, can I... That is what I'm looking for. At least, uh, that's not terrible. It's about, we almost about doubled our money there. It'll show you your profit when you're done as well. Oh, very nice. Okay, so I want to head up and get that brass then next. This will be basically what a lot of your playtime is in this. And all the people you talk to in the bar, the majority, unless they're quests or something important, are all usually the same guys. I'll treat you guys. Why not? It's a hundred bucks. It's it's fine. Okay. Let's head up, back up, and get that brass. Oh, in Busan, there's actually ooh, very nice. Let's we gotta get up and take advantage of that. I have a bunch of goods in Nagasaki. We could definitely offload. Wait, but no, it was, uh, you have the brass, right? That's going to take me five days. We should be able to make it. It will be, uh, it will pop up a warning. I wonder, I got a little bit of an early copy thanks to them. So the, the warning pops up, but it's in, fortunately, and I do believe it's in Chinese. And I cannot read Chinese, so. Yeah, I don't know why you went to, went to the other port, but you didn't stop. Or oh, maybe it was to pick up supplies. Oh, do you pick up your own? I never noticed that before, I guess. Usually the game did not do that. Well, there was a little bit of an update today, so maybe they made that a thing. 
Okay, but I want to get this. You don't want to get a penalty. Oh, I have all this stuff here, too. Well, it's actually a decent price. I need six. All right, we'll, we'll get that brass. This is worth a good amount. Yeah, I've started. St I've just had some stuff stocked up at port. So let's fill up his supplies, and then I'm gonna set sail for Nagasaki. Yeah, you can do auto do it once you get somebody in the cartography room, but I like to sell myself a little bit. It does have proper if you're going against the wind. Uh, you also taking start taking good damage if you're kind of going upwind, as it were. It was always better to go uh, with the wind. So Busan is having a festival. That way, I do want to get another ship at some point. But then there's more people you're paying, etc. Right now, the two ship system we got going is not terrible. Okay, so let's go to this. No, oh, Commerce Guild. We'll turn in that quest. You didn't grab six of them, did you? And you really quickly. I can't believe you grabbed five out of six. I think I just forgot to grab the last one. That's par for the course for me, though. All right, so can you go to the pier and just leave this stuff here? I made I made mistakes were made. And for some reason, now that stuff is in... Oh, I think that says quest. I'm going to take these gold chalices. And the, the white porcelain. Can I take that up? More supplies. Just take me up there real quick. If you don't mind. Well, sell this, I'll go back getting another brass. So I just want to show you kind of the meat and potatoes of the game. Uh, I'm in generally no hurry. I am enjoying this quite a bit. No hurry to go uh, do the quest. And I assume probably you can keep continuing after the main storyline is done. I think with four different characters, uh, I would think you would get at least probably 40 to 60 editors out of this. If you wanted to really play through it, if you only want to play through one character, you could probably still get a good amount of time. Uh, I could see myself playing this one character for over 100 hours, though, really. Just trading and getting more ships. And there are 10 different ships, I do believe, in the game. You could actually design your own ships as well if you have the blueprints for it. To go to the store. Prices should be pretty insane right now. Oh. 140%. So we made about 27,000 right there. But you don't want to buy when there's a festival because you will just get hosed. Alright. Okay, let's get out. And you've got the brass, because I, I messed up there. We might go pick up something else while we're at it anyway. Luckily, the wind is going our way as well. Oh, very nice. I do want to show off the combat. we got to find a proper fight, though. Really, it's kind of in your best interest not to fight, especially at the start. Oh, let's go store. I would like to actually just bring, uh, I need one more. So buy that. And I'm going to bring that other stuff back, and I think I'm going to sell that. Yes. Let's go to the pier. Go to that, and I'll sell some of this stuff. The white porcelain is worth far more. Let's fill supplies up. Take me to Busan. Because the festival lasts for like a month or so, a month or two. 
Uh, so you definitely want to take advantage of it. That's not how I got my second medium boat. Yeah, that fleet I just don't want to mess with. Okay. Restore real quick. Don't sell oh, so our brass. brass. So about 27. Wow. Yeah, but never buy an import when they're having a festival. You would just get ripped off. About 150,000, which is not bad. Let's just go Nagasaki. And we can turn this in and we'll get some more money as well. And then I think we'll go out and show off the fighting. I'll go out and find somebody. Then we'll take a bounty quest. I might generate some action. I've upgraded the ship as best I can now. The technology-wise, out here in Japan, as I said, they're not—they're really behind on the times, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I can only do so much. Oh, let's go to pier, though. I have to take that back. I think. Okay, so let's go out. Turn that into the Commerce Guild. Submit. Yeah, this also does have full... It's only on... I uh, do believe only on uh, PC. Uh, on Steam. Uh, even though this was, this was on consoles, I would also highly recommend if it does come out on console. So we got about for 10,000, so that was a good deal. Plus we got a lot of contribution. And right now, how much contribution do we have? Got about 553. I can almost not have to pay taxes. So we get 10%, uh, we have to pay 10% taxes anything we do here. And that's permanently active. That's not bad. It's not bad. It take me a couple hours of just straight up work here though. Okay, so. Now a good time to buy here as well. I would say no, but we're gonna go out and get some trouble in some trouble right now. Let's take the bounty quest, see what we got. Grave robbers. Forty thousand. Uh, I Oh, I don't know. I feel like this is a bad time. Alright. I did say easy, so I mean that's probably alright. So let's actually select that quest. Yeah, even though we don't really know where they are. For the most part. Okay. Beat the bandit fleet. Fleet kind of worries me, though. Can you grab me some more stuff, though? Because this... I actually found this stuff, so... I think I bought it at a cheap price down south. We need that to establish our own guild here at some point, so... We'll actually go back up to Busan because it's, it's so lucrative to go during a festival. You see that glowing building? You definitely want to make the most of it. We'll see if we have any clue to where we should go. 150. Oh, this is good. Probably won't be 48,000. Really? Money! Wow. Alright. And a mid-sized ship like it is, is only about 30,000. So that's... Very good. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. And I might go do lookout. 
go sail around. Let's just set sail. No, uh... Let's get the lookout. But you go about half sails. I can't, I'm just curious, are those other guys or no? So right now I cannot see them. A lot of pirates around here though. Do we have any I don't think some of these quests are kind of vague. As you can see on our map, it doesn't really show you where oh it actually it does now. Okay, so why don't we Go down to Naha. All right. A lot of these quests, my only real complaint was some of these quests have not had, like, anything. It's just vague. Let's get out of lookout mode, because that slows you down. This might end pretty horribly. We'll have to see. Right, we'll stop in Naha. Get supplies. A very small port. I should have brought something to sell, really. Might pick up some. Well, we're probably going to pick up treasure anyway. So well, that's not a horrible idea. Alright, fill up our supplies, because, yeah, we were almost gone there. Let's set sail. I really do want to show off some of the combat. Okay, so that's kind of on a way to a port. Guess we're not going too much against the wind there. Now Shen Chi's ship is not gonna okay, the shipwreck. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh. Fifty thousand. I can't even pick all this up. Oh, that's... Well, the lacquerware I need for that quest anyway. And we can actually come back for this. Alright. If I get in this pirate fight, I'm not going to be able to get their loot, though. But that was nice to see. Okay, let's see if we get into battle. Now, I'm not in love. I guess they did make it easier, because they're also a demo on Steam if you want to check this out for yourself. Uh, they made the combat easier. I don't mind it. Uh... It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll, we'll show this off. Okay, now we're in battle. Uh, our other ship is captained by the other guy, so he will... I don't know who we're fighting, though. Apparently, you do. Right, just... Oh, there is... That's a lot. Okay, wow. All right. Um... I kind of need to help you, don't I? You, sir, are an idiot. Because that guy likes to fight, he doesn't care what the odds are. He's, he's a little dumb. This is not going well for us. Don't worry, though. The sailors aren't immortal, but he is. So you don't lose a companion. Oh, this is not good. We got some chain shot in the front. Well, he almost did get the manpower down on the other ship. I wonder if I go over. You can also switch cannons. Oh, that's now. Okay, well. They're also way better shots than you are. I'm gonna see if I can take out this guy. At least even the odds. I'm so slow to turn right now. We're up. I can't get to him. I guess get it some more versatility there. We might take some more damage. 
Hit and run, baby. Let's go charge him. Hey, all right. Down to 74. Okay, one ship down. I We do lose that ship, though, so I've already lost. That was like 30,000. I'm so cheap. Whoa. Very nice. Okay. Oh, wow, this... Our health on the ship is not great. We can run away from the battle, but I feel like I really... We're halfway there now. If I can get it down to 1v1, I can definitely get this. Alright, let's go up. Turn. Looks like can. So you see you do that uh, edge there. This is the, all the boundary you have, which can get kind of annoying sometimes because the enemy can go out of it and then come back in. All right. So I do a forward charge here. Nope, I don't think so. Uh, where am I catch you? We don't have a back cannon, though. Now, our captain, his preference is, uh, you know, shooting, not fighting. Ah, I didn't have the range. Some of these combats can go for quite a while. I get you in my sights first. That is a big ship. This was also the, I tell you, the easy one. Yeah, unfortunately, the AI just... If you get a captain that likes to fight, he just doesn't care about how outnumbered he is. Alright. I'm not in range yet. If I can get up to you, though. Get up. Ask it. Oh, that was dangerous for us. Shoot. No surrender. Going for the side. Kind of dangerous. Switch. Oh, very nice. I mean, if I took down the sails, but they would kind of be able to hit me more if I did. But... Oh, that was not very good, though. No, no, that's not good. Uh, we need to run, uh, unfortunately. Well, unless I don't get hit again. We just don't get hit again. I think we could be okay. Also, since we have less sailors than probably the minimum, we're gonna be harder to fight as well. Okay, just keep them on edge, keep them on edge. Oh, no, no, no. Go straight up damage with you guys. Yeah, I know, Shenchi, but it's your fault. It's your fault we don't have you, you cause everybody to die. Okay, I've almost got it down to one. Oh, we can do this. It's a little ship that could. I'm trying to lead you a little bit, but come on in the range. Line them up, line them up, line them up. No, I'm a little. 
Oh, shoot. Really? Come on. Okay, well, we did it. We did it. Okay, let's up. Uh... Oh, what do we want to salvage of this? Uh, recruit. Oh, did we get our ship back? We got some gold. Okay, pick it up. Now, we need to get to, uh, we need to get there. We're very, I don't think we're gonna make it very. Oh wow, we actually won that one. We also need a port because our ship is, got some holes in it, I imagine. Okay. Unfortunately, this does not have a shipyard. Oh, we got a little bit of story here. Okay, so I'm gonna get more armed ship. Not a bad idea. Oh, we do have a level up as well. Uh, chance we did get a little bit of XP. Uh, why don't we do the captain himself, though? Alright, very nice. Now let's get it to save more sailors first, because we lost a few. Not, no, not as many wanted to join, I don't know why. Uh, that's fine. They had heard about previously, I guess. All right, fair enough. Wait, we did have some supplies too. Let's see if we can offload that. Uh, why don't we just take that back then? Why don't we take it back with us and see what we can get? Okay, let's assign sailors though. We need minimum. See, somebody's gonna have we don't we don't have enough men. We're gonna do the best we can though. I think we might just go up and get go to the next port over and get oh, fine. I always forget to do that. Yes, we're gonna go pick up uh, more sailors at the next port. There's a port just like around the corner. I wouldn't mind buying a couple more ships. Because those fights are not getting any easier. Alright, uh, let's just go to the restaurant. Hey, Kirkwood, 83. Fair enough. Find some more sailors. You can max 50. You don't want to totally max that out though, because you're you're just paying all those supplies and they ran out of the supplies, the food so quickly. Alright. Don't be set sail. I feel confident enough to know where we're going now. We need to make it to back to the port. Don't play out any trouble. Right. Oh, there was some, probably some food or something left. The pirate, but there are also dangerous waters where pirates will show up. But luckily here, this area, it's semi-safe. Back to Nagasaki. We do know they have a shipyard there. And more importantly, we can turn in that bounty. Alright, 40,000 uh, plus 110 in Nagasaki. Nice. Which also means I don't ever have to pay taxes again. That is the best. Alright, that 10% will add up quite a bit. 
But unfortunately, this is where we kind of pay the piper. Fourteen. That that actually was not horrible. Considering how much money we made, that's not horrible. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll run off one more little run. Let's go to the pier and get our stuff. And we'll end it up in Busan. And give my thoughts over on the game. I just want to show off the basic gameplay. There's also some boarding. We'll eventually just... Your officers will screw up against other sailors. And generally it's just... Nothing insane. And land expeditions as well. Which is just... Kind of moving square to square. Events happen. Things like that. Uh, but overall I have had a really really great time with this so far. And it's kind of my main game to play at the moment. I... I'm just digging it quite a bit. We'll take that over. Let's get... Also, we can pick up a couple more things probably at a decent price. It sold that for 121 but if Busan has... Uh, yeah, I don't pay taxes anymore. Oh, no taxes. Lovely. Let's head up. Get some supplies. It does remind me a lot of Sid Meier's Pirates, but it's like uh, updated graphically, mechanically, everything like that. A couple of things like so there's some Chinese translation boxes that pop up every once in a while. Uh, but overall, really, really good. We'll sell this off and I have made a good amount of money today. That oh not terrible. We're still paying taxes here though. Eh, we'll take it. But alright, ladies and gentlemen, leave off here. I'll link to the Steam page below. Uh, if you do like this kind of genre, I know this is definitely not for everybody. But if you like numbers going up, if you like a little bit of ship combat, sailing uh, back in the day, I think you definitely would enjoy it. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.